What is up guys, welcome to my trailer breakdown for Arrow Season 7 Episode 4 titled Level 2. Titled Level 2 because of what happened at the end of the last episode where Oliver went to Level 2 or the second floor or the basement I think of the prison which is where he's going to meet the demon probably in the next episode because Episode 5 is titled The Demon. So without further ado let's actually watch the trailer for Episode 4. I don't belong here. Would you say you have violent tendencies? You have no idea what's coming. You don't have to fight anymore. Are you prepared to be ruthless? I don't have anything to lose. Arrow. All new this Monday at 8, 7 central on The CW. So the trailer starts with Oliver in a seemingly solitary confinement because of what he did at the end of the last episode where he stabbed those guards now first of all i think the reason he did stab those guards and he didn't stab the guard in episode two is probably because those guards were dirty and they were working with the criminals or the criminals were they were looking the other way with the criminals who were in that uh boxing arena place but uh so that's why he stabbed those guys and not the guard in episode two but anyway, here we see him in solitary confinement because of that. He's saying that he doesn't want to be here because he wants to get to level two, which is where the demon is. He wants to talk to the demon because he wants the demon to get him to Diaz. Who the demon is, I have no idea. It's been teased that another villain will be returning from Arrow in this season. Now, the demon is would most likely be referring to Ra's al Ghul. He obviously died, but Ra's al Ghul has come back from the dead in a lot of continuities in the DC Universe, so it's not unlikely for him to come back in Episode 5, which is titled The Demon, like I said earlier, and he might be the demon. It could be a wide range of other characters, but I think if it's not Ra's al Ghul, then they would kind of be stealing his name because he has been referred to as the head of the demon or the demon uh, himself so uh, that's probably what's going to happen at the end of this episode maybe Oliver's going to meet him whoever the demon is at the end of this episode when he gets to level two and then the next episode will be all about it I think this episode Oliver in prison will be mostly him in solitary confinement that's just based off everything we know from the trailers synopsis and promotion of photos I know this episode is titled level two which would obviously suggest that this episode takes place in level 2, but the reason I say it's not probably going to take place in level 2 and it will be mostly in solitary confinement is because, like I said earlier, the next episode is titled The Demon, so I think that if this episode took place in level 2, he would probably meet the demon right away in the next episode. He would get past that already. What I think will happen is that in this episode, he will try to get out of solitary confinement, try to go to... Um, level 2 and by the end of the episode he'll get to level 2 maybe even meeting whoever the demon is also I don't think this episode will heavily feature Oliver despite the trailer suggesting that as well that is entirely based off the synopsis and the promotional photos the promotional photos not a single one of them has Oliver Queen in it and the synopsis which is this has a very short line of Oliver Queen and the rest is of everyone else so sadly this episode will probably not have much of the prison storyline which would be or is very very concerning for the episode because most episodes that don't feature Oliver Queen heavily are usually not very good or just subpar episodes thankfully this episode does have the new green arrow and probably the flash forwards as well and Diaz just got a little bit more interesting using that drug so hopefully the rest of the cast and the storylines going on could hold this episode up because I don't think it will feature Oliver Queen all too heavily. Speaking of the new Green Arrow, we do see another shot of him in this trailer, five seconds into the trailer. It's a really cool looking shot, and he will definitely have a major role in this episode in one of the side plots. He, we didn't see him at all in episode two and three. I have no idea why they did that. Like He was one of the most interesting parts of the first episode, and then he didn't appear at all in the second or third. I mean, they definitely could have used him to help against the Longbow Hunters and Ricardo Diaz, but he's appearing again in this episode, having a major role in one of the side storylines. Specifically, he's going to help Renee and Zoe Ramirez when some arsonists come and attack the community center, which was said in the synopsis, as well as the fact that Zoe actually gets injured. We see that as well in one of the synopses. I, th I feel like they're trying to do this thing where this new Green Arrow and Renee 
form some kind of friendship. They showed that in the first episode. Renee obviously has a lot of respect for this new Green Arrow, so that's something I'm very interested in. At this point, I still have no idea who this new Green Arrow was. Uh, after the first episode, I, ex I thought he possibly could be William from 20 years in the future. I think it was 20 years, but uh, I really hope it's not because that would be way, way too similar to XS on the flash I think it's still I still think it could be Roy Harper and I'm really hoping that it is because I really want to see Roy Harper in the present day again I know he's having a major role in the flash forwards and that is pretty interesting as well but that's one thing I was a little disappointed about in the flash forwards and I said this in a review it's not the actual flash forwards themselves but the, it really makes it so that it limits Roy Harper's screen time on the present day or make makes it like not even a, a thing at all and I think that if this new Green Arrow is Roy Harper it was a very smart thing to do where you can have Roy Harper in the present day and in the flash forwards at the same time without using Colton Haynes too much and because like he only has a specific amount of time to act on this show so they put a mask on this, on this Green Arrow so you actually can't see his face at all for a while for a couple episodes until who knows maybe they'll kill Ray or Roy Harper off in the flash forwards or maybe he will just have a smaller role in the flash forwards and he will just have a much larger role in the present day. I I would not bet money that this is Roy Harper, but I really don't see any other option because if they introduce a new character, that would suck because they really don't need any new characters. They have way too many new characters or characters in general at this point, and I really don't see it being any other character from the past. So I wouldn't bet on it, but I really, really think this is Roy Harper and I really hope it is as well. Then we see Silencer again, who was kidnapped by Renee and Felicity at the end of the last episode, and that kidnapping made her seem a lot less threatening than she should as a villain of the season, not because Renee beat her. I think that Renee, who is one of the members of Team Arrow, should be able to stand up against one of the members of the Longbow Hunters, who aren't even the actual main villains of the season. I know I keep on saying they're the main villains of the season, but it's really Ricardo Diaz, Again, because it was confirmed that he is a series regular, but I think Renee should be able to beat her. It's the fact that they didn't actually show it on screen that makes her so much less threatening. And I know they did it for a twist, but that twist was just so horribly done that they just should have showed the fight and have Renee beat her some way. It's really just Black, Black Siren and Black Canary who had a problem fighting her because of their uh, their ability and their reliance on their sonic scream at a lot of the time so silencer i think that the reason they made her so less threatening so early on is because it's possible that they're making her a non-villain because if you don't know in the comics uh silencer who is a very very new character she's not even a year old in the dc universe but she got her leap to live action really really quick i mean i mean it's only taken her a couple months while while other much more famous characters have taken decades and some of them still haven't even appeared in live action but getting back to silencer she's not actually a villain in the comics she is a hero and it was confirmed in the last episode that she is the exact same person as the hero in the comics because red dart referred to her as honor because her name in the comics is actually honor guest which is a pretty dumb name if i'd say but uh it was that confirmed that the exact same character i think the fact that they made Renee defeat her off screen maybe just to make her a little less threatening because they might be giving her a redemption arc where she becomes a hero because the longbow hunters who could just at this point just be Diaz, Red Dart, and Kodiak who I think the longbow hunters have a rule where they can only be three members at a, t at a time right now when Silencer is one of the members Diaz is not really a member but now that Silencer is gone if she does become a, a hero after this then the Longbow Hunters could actually be Kodiak, Red Dart, and Ricardo Diaz. It would make sense since Diaz is one of the members of the Longbow Hunters in the comics. In fact, he is the leader of the Longbow Hunters. But I think that Silencer could definitely become a hero this season because she is a hero in the comics. And I don't understand why they would take a hero from the comics and make them a villain when there are so many more villains in the comics than heroes. Because there are like... Dozens of heroes, uh, dozens of villains for every one hero they have for the most part. So I think that Silencer probably will become less of a villain, more of an anti hero, possibly even a hero in this season. So then we see a shot of Oliver being injected by something, probably something that will knock him out. 
for this episode. This really reinforces what I said earlier, which is that Oliver most likely would not have a major role in this episode in particular. I think this drug really reinforces it, or this injection reinforces it, because it will most likely knock him out for the entire duration of the episode, or at least till near the end, and I feel like he will serve his, the rest of his solitary confinement in the break between this episode and the next episode, which is seven days, like every break or most breaks in the season, but I think, like I said, this definitely reinforces what I said earlier, which is that his role in this episode will most likely be very, very short, and the reason he's being ejected may be because he's arguing or he's being confrontational with these people who are, who he said earlier, that the, the guy who I have no idea who he is, may, he may be the warden, but he said that he has, that Oliver has violent tendencies, so maybe this drug is trying to reduce those violent tendencies and he will be put in level 2 after this whole thing. I don't know, but I definitely think that he will have a minor role in this episode compared to every, uh, every other episode of the season so far, as well as the next episode and most likely most episodes after that. So I feel like this episode will not be as good as most episodes because of it. Then there are a bunch of shots of Arsonist and the new Green Arrow and Dinah and Laurel asking Felicity if she's prepared to be ruthless and then Felicity actually not answering her because you see in this shot that she is quite um, obviously talking to Silencer and not Laurel. The way they cut it, it's making it seem like Felicity is answering Laurel's question. Are you prepared to be ruthless? I have nothing to lose. But she is obviously talking to silencer if you look at this shot but anyway that is this trailer breakdown let me know what you thought about the trailer in the comments down below and if you like this video don't forget to leave a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching